Hello, I'm Gina Rothstein, a philanthropy advisor with Karma and Sense. And for today's 60 or Seconds of Philanthropy, we have a guest presenter, Christy Morgan. Christy is the Director of Indigenous Initiatives at the Trellis Society. And the question we are asking her today in recognition of Canada's Truth and Reconciliation Day is what role does philanthropy play in the truth and reconciliation process? So with that, 60 seconds on the clock. Greetings, White. There's definitely a role for philanthropy in truth and reconciliation. And in fact, it's required. Reconciliation is not just about the work sector or the communities you live in or the places you visit. If you live here in Canada, you have the responsibility to uphold the treaties and their intentions. We have the good fortune of living here, but only as a result of the inequity and imbalance of systems and policies that were created and continue to impact one group of people who are the original inhabitants of this place. There have been numerous reports and actions, recommendations put forward. Here are some ways that you can take steps towards truth and reconciliation. Becoming informed, learn about our shared history, build relationships with indigenous communities, but don't be extractive. Support indigenous businesses, both individually and through business procurement, Support and appropriately fund Indigenous-led programs and services. Rethink how your giving and application processes truly align with inclusion and really ask yourself, do they align with the intentions of reconciliation? Finally, help be a systems change advocate, but only when asked by the impacted community. Thank you. Hi, hi. Thanks, Christy. And for more videos about philanthropy and social finance, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website at karmaandsense.com. See you at the next episode.